question number two, if 80 customers are chosen at random, find the number of customers who spend between 200 and 265. So for this one, we need to know that the 80 customers are chosen at random. This is number of the customer that are chosen. We want to find the number of customers who spend between uh, 200 to 265. So that means from the one given here, we assume that this is the sample, total sample space. The 80 is the sample total number of the sample given so let, let's write down the number of sample is 80 and we assume that the customer that spent 200 to 265 is the event that we want to find okay customer that spent between 200 to 265 in this case we have to find the probability first for for the probability that customer spend between 200 to 265 so we have to convert to z score and then we find the probability value and then we will solve the number of the customer that we want so we will use the number of the customer over 80 is equal to this value right is equal to the probability value so let's do it here okay let's uh, start with the probability of the x from 200 to 250 so i'm going to convert to z score so let's uh, convert to z score before we can use a calculator or we can use a buku sphere to solve the uh, probability value so the mean it was given let's see the mean is was given 250 right 200 and 265 okay let me do it again here we are going to solve this one is 265 here Okay, let's start again. So we are going to find the uh, probability for the x from 200 to 265. Now, in order to find the probability, we need to convert to z score. So we have to take 200 minus 250 over standard deviation that we got just now. 265 minus 250 over standard deviation that we got just now now you have to key in into your calculator 200 200 minus 250 you are by 75 your answer is probability negative 0 0.667 this is a z score then here will be 265 minus 250 divided by 75 so it's 0 0.2 now let's sketch the graph first before we can solve so here is negative 0 0.667 here is 0 0.2 so the area that we want is here so area represent probability so we want to know the probability here so we have to use a calculator okay let's press the calculator with a 570 class week so this is the lower this is the upper limit so we want the area means probability so go to bell shape all right go to 72 72 now the lower is negative 0 0.0 negative 0 point six 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 seven right let's key in into a calculator negative zero point triple six seven and the upper limit will be zero point two so we will get the property is just uh the property we get is zero point 
3267 so 3268 it means that the area here the area here this area we can say is 32.68 percent or if you want to write the property it should be equal to 0 0.3268 all right understand now uh, we try to we try to find the property based on the bell shape here so if you use a buku here right you you will find the area shaded in green color right so this area if you press your calculator you should get zero point if you press your calculator uh, for the new calculator you can just take the lower limit is 0 0.2 and the upper limit is 5 so you can write this area is 0 0.4207 right and for this area for this area you can also press the calculator how you press the calculator is if this one lower this one upper is positive 5 so this one is negative 5 as a this is a this is a upper which is negative 0 0.66 this is a lower so we go to the calculator lower is negative 5 and then the upper is negative 0 0.6667 so we will get the area which is 0 0.25 2525 if I use a calculator so you can say that this area that you want the area that you want is highlight in okay the area that we want is this area we will take one bell minus out the green and minus out the yellow all right so this area we can use 1 minus 0 0.2525 minus 0 0.4207 this is the area that we need to find which is in pink color so this area is representing 0 0.3265 Okay, let's write. If if you use a buku sifir, you have to show like this. It's better for you to show all the step than you just use a calculator because the mark will be given based on the step. So you get zero point three two six eight. This one is very important. It will give you one mark. So you if you press the calculator directly from lower to upper, you didn't show this. You will miss out one mark. Okay. So make sure you write the the step uh, for property for the the you can write properly but use a calculator to do no problem is equal to one minus one minus property for z more than zero point two and property for z less than negative zero point six six seven make sure it's for significant figure and then you show how you minus your answer your point four two zero seven minus your point two five two five and hence you show that you will get the answer zero point six two three eight and from the answer zero point six two three eight you will find the number of the customer that spend the month uh the spend between 200 and 200 and 265 here right so that's how we answer this question and make sure you round off the answer to the integer because this is number of customer that's all my sharing about how to solve the probability distribution.